We have been following from the very beginning all the latest when it comes to the Lori Vallow murder trial. Day 21 brought dark testimony into the courtroom today. Three more witnesses testified against the so-called doomsday mom accused of killing her kids after moving from Arizona to Idaho. One witness is Vallow's relative, Fox 10 investigative reporter there in Phoenix. Justin Lum joins us now from the newsroom. Justin, good to see you. Get us up to speed. What exactly happened? Who were these witnesses today? Andrew, as you remember, we have been waiting to hear from Lori Vallow's niece, Melanie Palowski, but instead we heard from her husband, Ian Palowski. He testified on day 21. So here's what we know. The judge was made aware that Melanie had listened to testimony of her ex-husband and saw headlines on this trial. Being exposed to testimonies or coverage would violate the exclusionary rule and eliminate her as a witness. Meanwhile, Ian Palowski testified. He said he never saw Lori Vallow's kids, JJ and Tylee, and Lori never mentioned them. Ian also told the court about the alleged rating system of light and dark spirits. He said he heard about this through Melanie, who learned it from her aunt Lori and Lori's new husband, Chad Daybell. Ian said Lori called two police detectives who were looking into the disappearance of her kids, zombies. Witnesses have already testified that Lori called JJ and Tylee zombies before they were killed. In December of 2019, less than a week after Ian married Melanie, he went to Rexburg police in Idaho with some concerns. Investigators asked him to record Lori and Chad's conversations, which he did for a short time. Now, a former friend of Vallow also testified today saying she stayed at Lori's home briefly in October of 2019 and decided to end the friendship before Lori threatened her life. She said that she would cut me up. That's something about her, that she wasn't in the mental place to do that, but that she would get herself in that place to be able to do it. But that she didn't want to have to because it'd be so messy and there'd be so, so much blood and the, the bleach and something about trash bags. And that she, and that she would bury me worse. She would, no one would ever find me. Now, aside from Ian Palowski and his former friend of Lori Vallow, a detective with the Fremont County Sheriff's Office, who was also a part of this case, he also testified today. The prosecution actually brought in some of the recovered firearms belonging to Alex Cox, Lori Vallow's late brother. So a long day in court, and we'll find out more about Melanie Palowski and where she stands as far as testimony. Andrew? Yeah, Justin, how interesting. Like I, I've always said with you, so many different players in this. Uh, the cast of characters seems never ending and still more witnesses going to take the stand uh, in the next couple of days. Justin, as always, we appreciate it. We'll talk again. Thanks, Andrew.